Hello, welcome back to my channel, Silver Thread Sewing. I'm Diane. This is Friday Sews. So I hope everyone's well and had a good week. Um, first, I want to say thank you to Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room for starting this hashtag and allowing us to join in. Uh, we'll get together on Friday and talk a little bit about what we're sewing, what we're going to be sewing, our patterns, whatever, and a little bit about life. Um, so this week, um, I have a few things that are started, but I've, I've had an exciting week. I had a play date with a sewing friend, and um, she was gracious enough to help me start to fit a pants pattern for myself. Um, that's something I've never made. I've made plenty of pajamas, as I've talked to you about before, which is my favorite articles of clothing. <laughs> But, um, but as far as a pair of pants that I could wear out in public, I've, I, I've never made any. Um, I don't really know. I'm not sure why that I've never felt comfortable starting it. I think, I think we make things harder in our minds than they actually are sometimes. And we're so afraid of ruining our pattern or our fabric or whatever. And sometimes that prevents us from ever starting something. And how sad is that that we do that? Because it, I would rather use something and maybe it not work out than for it to just sit in a, you know, in a room somewhere and never even get used. Um, and I'm starting at this point of my life, I have to ask myself, how long do I think I'm going to live to to get through all my patterns and fabrics. <laughs> so anyway, I am very happy to have started that process. Um, my friend told me, she said, just bring a piece of fabric that you don't feel too, you know, too precious about and you're not gonna be too heartbroken if it doesn't work out or whatever, but we'll, we need to start with something. So I had a piece of, it's, it was, when I ordered it, it said it was 100% cotton corduroy. Now, I don't think that it's 100% cotton. It is pretty enough. I don't know if you can see, maybe right there you can see the whales in the corduroy just a little bit, but it's not, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel like a cotton corduroy. Um, it feels like it's got something else in it, but that's fine. I've had it for a long time and just never really wanted to use it because I, I didn't, I just don't like the way it feels too much. But after we worked on it and started to sew it up, I do like it better than I did. And um, this is the beginning of my pants. And they are going to have elastic in the waist, but they won't be real gathered, but just enough to get them up over my hips. Now, my friend had this elastic, and I have never seen this before. Um, I have since found it, and I'm going to link it below. I found it on Waywack. Dot com, which is where I get all my sewing notions and zippers and elastics and stuff, but you may have seen it. It's called Draw Cord Elastic, and it's very stretchy, but it has this cord, like a, a drawstring cord, right down the center. I hope you're able to see that. I don't know how well you'll be able to, but... Um, but she was kind enough to give me a piece to use for this project. And um, I think the the intention is that once you have it sewn in your waistband, then you can use it just like a, a regular drawstring elastic and adjust the fit. So that was pretty ingenious. Um, I've not put it in the top of the pants yet, as you can see. But when I do, um, I think it'll be really handy. And I have looked for it on online and found it, and I will link it below if you're interested in getting some, because I had never seen it myself before. It's called Draw Cord Elastic. Now, these are not quite finished. We have done some alterations um, and marked, marked them up, and I have um, basted in the changes we made from the original, which they were really close the first time, so my friend is very talented um, about, you know, patterns and alterations, and she's a lot more advanced, as I've said before, than I am. So we were really close even the first time, but they've still got a few little tweaks that need to be done, and then we'll change the flat pattern to match, and I should have a pants pattern that, that will fit me. So I'm very excited. Um, so the next thing I've been working on 
a co I used to make, uh, in the past few years, I made the Necessary Clutch Wallets by Emmeline Bags. I've made probably 40 some of those little wallets. And I will try to link the pattern below if you're interested. Um, I did my non-garment video a while back and um, I p included pictures and I'll try to link to that video below if you're interested in seeing it. But I also make the little key, key fobs just has a little key ring on one end and they look really good and they're great for holding your keys. But then I have a rivet press and I just punch a hole right above the ring and put a rivet in that so it, it, everything stays secure. And I had a couple people that need one. Theirs have, I guess, gotten dirty or worn or whatever, but they need a new key ring. But my jack machine right there is not acting right. <laughs> Um, it had been, I thought the tension was messed up a little bit because I was getting the bird nest under the bottom. It looked fine on top, but the bottom looked loose and too much thread under the bottom. So that usually indicates a problem with your top tension. So I re-threaded, put a new needle, adjusted the tension, got that kind of resolved, and then it started breaking threads. So I've got to clean it and try to figure out what's going on and, and change the needle again and try to get that going because I need that machine, that industrial, to sew through these um, these little key things, key rings. And also I've got an order for another wallet and I want to be able to sew them on that because it's just too much bulk for a domestic machine. But I'm working on those this week. <clears throat> now, um, I'm going to show you my, real quickly, I'm going to go through them real quick because I've got several. Um, since I'm talking about fitting pants and all that, <clears throat> I've got several pants patterns that I've had over the years. And I wanted to um, to show you my pants pattern. I think I've showed you my skirts and my pajama patterns already. And this is all my pants pattern that are the big four. Now, I have some PDF patterns, some love notions, and some it's to stitch and a couple more that I'm not thinking of. I have the Isla jeans or Isle jeans that are for a stretch denim. All those are PDFs and I'll probably just show you all those at once since I don't have as many of them. But I was going to show you my big four um, pants patterns. And some of these are old and some are fairly new and would still be in the books. But I'm going to go through them pretty quick and I'm not going to take much of your time. So if you're interested in any of these or want me to tell you any more about the patterns, some I've made, especially the older ones, uh, I've not made pants, but I've made like the culottes. And um, so, so anyway, I'll just show you these real fast and tell you what year they're from. This first one is Simplicity 8556. Now the number that is on the top of it is not the pattern number because this was like on top of the cabinet. And this is from 2018 and it is Simplicity 8556. It's pants, a tunic, a jacket, and then a, a two, two lengths of jacket actually. And I'll show you that. And I'm not sure where you can see that best. But I, I think I originally purchased it for the jacket but I've not made this one yet. But if, if that's not showing up good, I'll snap some pictures and put in a better picture, a be better image. But hopefully you can see them. This little pattern is from 2002 and it is It's So Easy by Simplicity and it's 5997. It's shirt, pants, and little uh, wrap skirt. And I have made the, t the shirt before, but I've never made the the pants, but it's just a great little multi-item pattern. The next one is Simplicity 9376, and this is from 2021, and I'm pretty sure it's still in the books, and it's just pants. And I had seen somebody make these, I think on Instagram, and they looked so pretty. Um, they are for corduroy, cotton blends, flannel, linen blends. So that's the kind that I usually look for. This is a little pattern of Simplicity from 2020 and it's a Simplicity 9051. And when I originally got it, I got it for the pants, although I would probably never wear 
the leg split like that. So it might need to be altered. I'm not sure what I was thinking, but the models always look so pretty and it makes me think, oh, if they look that good, they would look that way on me. And that's never the case, <laughs> but, but isn't it pretty? And I love the belted tunic. And the next one is from 2019. It's Simplicity 8957. And it's just several different views of pants again. And I like them all. I really like the ones that the model's wearing the best. And I might even, I would probably straighten the leg out for just a little bit wider leg. I feel like that balances me better. If, if I have on the tighter leg pants, it kind of highlights my, my width. <laughs> so I probably might straighten the legs, but I think once you get the top part fitted, the legs I think would be easier. That's what I think. Um, 2019, this is Simplicity 8841. It's an easy to sew pattern. And I actually got it for the view that the model's wearing. Next is Simplicity 8848. And this is from 2019. This is actually a tunic, a dress, and pants and it's the top and dress have an asymmetrical hem and i just think all of it is so pretty and i'm not sure but i believe viv mom has made this i believe but she's tall and slim and beautiful and yeah it looks so good on her but i really like the pants and i would like to make probably the top with longer sleeves just because i don't do a lot of sleeveless Next, I have um, simply. I have a lot of simplicity. Um, simplicity eight three nine three, and this one's from twenty seventeen. And I actually bought this pattern for the top, but it has a, a jacket as well. It's very similar to the other pattern, but I do like the top real well, and I have made it one time, and like it a lot, and plan to make it again. Um, and I'm gonna hurry. Um. From 2016, this is a new look, and it's 6438, and it's a little jacket, a t-shirt, and two different lengths of wide leg pants. I know that glare's probably terrible, but I, I like that a lot. <clears throat> I like them all, obviously. Um, Butterick 6463 from 2017. This is a lifestyle wardrobe pattern. And I, I got it for all the views because I like everything in that pattern. And I thought, well, that's a really good value. And I never buy a pattern at full price. I always wait till they're on sale and, and buy them. So, um, you know, I like to get them that have more than one thing in the envelope if possible. This one's a Simplicity 8605, and it's from 2019. The really wide legs, and it's the two versions of skirts for lighter weight fabrics. Um, next is Simplicity 8389. Again, it's just pants and shorts. And I like both views, but I probably would do the wide legs. Maybe not quite as wide as they're shown, but um, next, it, this one has a dress, a tunic, a t-shirt with little grown-on sleeves and wide leg pants. And it's Simplicity 8892 and it's from 2019. And I like all the views. They're just so cute. Um, just a few more. New Look 6532, and this is from 2017, and I got it for the pants, but I like the, the little top, too. It's sleeveless, and it has the little gathers on the shoulder, but I really like those flared pants. That's about my favorite style of pants. Uh, <clears throat> Butterick 6327, this is a Catherine Tilton, and it's from 2016. And it's just the pants pattern. Next is New Look 6351. And this is pants, jacket, 
a, a, a t-shirt, a v-neck t-shirt and a little skirt. And it's from 2015. And I got it for the pants. It was my favorite piece, but I like the tops and the skirt as well. It's elastic waist. I like new looks too. Um, new look, 6080, and this one's from 2011. And I actually got this for the little jacket. Um, I want to make the little bolero jacket, but I like all the versions. And I like the way the model's wearing it right there. And just two more, three more. McCall 6466, and this one's from 1993. And this is the one that I actually made several times. It's got the little culottes, either long or short. It's got the little top, it's buttoned down the front. There's a long sleeve version, short sleeve, um, and a sleeveless. And I actually made this view. I made I made this for myself and for my sister, and I made it probably four times um, way back in, in the 90s. Um, it was very in style. I think it would still be in style now. Um, Easy McCall's 6020, and this is a little pair of pants, a button-up shirt, I think that's all. And this, I had given a dollar for this at either a yard sale or a thrift store. But I've never made any of the items on it. But again, that's from 1992. And the last one that I have is New Look 6637, and it's an easy two-hour pattern. And this is from, we may never know. The, the little end of the envelope was, was ripped off, and I don't know. I couldn't find a date on it. But it's got pants, shorts, a long skirt, wrap, and a, long, a short wrap skirt. And I had actually made the wrap skirt a couple times back, probably in the 90s. I would say this was probably the early 90s, mid-90s maybe. But that's all my pants patterns. So I'm... Um, Still not to the point of deciding which ones I can part with and which ones I can't, but I'll, I'll, I'll get my head wrapped around that eventually. But I'm trying to get them all sorted and see what, which ones I have. Um, once you purchase the patterns, they're yours and they don't cost anything now that you've bought them. And I hate getting rid of them because in the past I would think, well, this is out of style and I'd get rid of it, or it's the wrong size, and I would, you know, take it and donate it or sell it or give it to somebody. And now, you know, things, first of all, you can make things more updated just simply by the fabric you choose. And everything's kind of coming back in style that, that was out of style for a while. So, yeah, I just hate parting with stuff and not knowing for sure if I'm gonna regret it or not. <laughs> So, I get, maybe we all feel that way, or maybe it's just my head. I don't know. All right. For once, this is the first time that I've ever found the question for this week's Friday Sews. And the question was, what back-to-school supplies do you grab for your sewing room? Now, I personally love back-to-school stuff. I love paper, pencils, you know, notebooks, all the things. I love it. I've always loved it. Next to sewing stuff, that's my next favorite thing is pens and markers and scissors and tape. So, some of the supplies I would pick up for my sewing room, of course, the friction pens. Uh, I love these things. I know some people say they've had trouble with the marks showing back up when the, like the the garment gets cold, you'd get like lines that show back up, but I've never had that problem. And I only mark on the inside usually anyway, but the heat from the iron has always erased them for me. So friction pins are one um, one thing that I, I personally like to purchase. So the next thing I would pick up is some of these little mechanical pencils. Um, the, the, the lead just comes out the bottom. They have a little eraser on them. And they're usually several in a pack, and they're not very expensive. So, all my favorites. Um, glue sticks are another thing that um, that I like to use, especially if you stick together PDF patterns. You can use glue sticks instead of tape in some cases. Um, and I just love glue. And it washes out. It's washable, so if you do get glue on, like if you want to base a zipper in, some people use a glue stick just to do that instead of like the fusible tape. 
Um, another thing that I like to use is scotch tape. And I had found a really good deal on Amazon last year. It was like 12 or 15 rolls of tape for like $9. Well, you've heard the old saying, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. So it's not very clear, which I can live with that. But when you try to cut it with the little cutter on your thing, It's almost, it's almost impossible, and then it wrinkles it up, and ugh. So, yeah, I would buy good scotch tape, uh, at least a better than this. <laughs> this didn't even have a, a brand on it, but, and it would be fine if you could use it correctly, but, yeah, I've been, I've been making myself use it because I bought it, but I don't like it. Now, there's two different kinds of scotch tape that I like, and I didn't have a box for either one, but there's, in the blue box, it's low tack, so you can um, stick pattern pieces together, or if you need to alter a pattern, you can use that. And then it's it's not so sticky that you can't pull it off and not damage anything. It won't damage your paper. You have to be a little bit careful still, but it comes off really easily. And then the green box is the kind I buy most often because it, it's per more permanent, and it just, uh, usually it's matte, so it, you know, it, it just looks good on your pattern. You can see through it good if there's an intersecting line that you've taped. So that's about the, the main things. Now, I know um, some people use erasers a lot in their sewing. And I think there's, um, I always just get those little pink rubber looking erasers or whatever. I don't even know what they're made from. But I've been hearing a lot about the polymer erasers. They're kind of hard, but people say that they work a lot better and they don't leave like the black marks from your uh, pencil lead. So, if you are shopping for back to school stuff, that's a few items that you might want to look out for for your sewing room. Um, as well as paper scissors that, you know, you can get scissors right now on back to school aisles. They're really inexpensive and they're pretty sharp and pretty good for for paper. I don't know about cutting fabric with them, how that would do, but I mean, whatever you've got, you can use for something. But um, anyway, I'm going to shut up. This has been way longer than I intended, but I did want to show y'all my pants pattern and tell you, patterns and tell you how I was getting along with um, my friend's help to get my pant pattern ready. So hopefully I will get some pants made pretty soon and be able to show you that soon. But I hope you're having a great weekend and just keep on sewing. Never give up and we'll, we'll make it in the end. <laughs> Bye.